everybody that we learn. Thank you for everyone online. I hope you are having a blast. You are learning, you are gleaning, and you are increasing knowledge. Thank you very much. It's with great pleasure I welcome you all to this segment of our program today. This initiative is in the of new tech for. I'm so excited we are doing this as a demo, as an organization. I'm excited because we are it's an indication that we are sensitive and we are moving with trend. It's an indication that um, we, are, we, are, we understand our audience, we know our audience, and we know that businesses cannot go far and become sustainable without deploying technology. And that's why we have this initiative for our members, primarily for our community, for the youth, and for our nation. Uh, because we are using this vehicle as a medium of engaging people, engaging them with diverse skills, transferable skills, we're using this medium to also um, strengthen our capacity to perform better, to be efficient, and to work smart as business owners. We're using this platform as an avenue to reduce employability in our society. So it's exciting to be involved in this initiative. It's exciting to fact a new innovation and I welcome you to this jolly ride of Tech World for this week. I'd like to recognize some people in our midst, some online. Um, Mr. Tukosu, thank you all that. The special advisor to the governor on innovation and technology. Thank you for accepting our invitation. We will come back to see you. We need to have a round table. Thank you. I hope you will show your doors open and welcome us. Um, we want to appreciate Mr. Akin Popola, FAHM, the Honorable Commissioner. Ministry of Science and Technology for Lagos State. Thank you very much for accepting our invitation. Thank you for believing in this initiative. We are counting on a collaborative effort between you, the government, the state, and us. So we look forward to more amazing tech environment that will both create for women and the youth. Thank you very much, Honorable Commissioner. We appreciate you. Uh, and now I'm leaving out our distinguished members. I want you to appreciate yourself because you are welcome, highly welcomed, and distinguished members, distinguished members, esteemed members, our special dignitaries online. I can see Abisolo Shoji. You are the rare Ungozu Bodhi, Umi Obidare. I can see a Kike Lomo, Abdul Salim. So many of you, I want you to appreciate yourself for being part of this innovative world. God bless you, and I appreciate you all by here. God bless you. With this, I'd like to invite my president to do all the honors. Thank you so much, our dear National Publicity Secretary, Mrs. Aisha Imei James. And I'd like to say, when she died now, after any presentation, the next person coming to say, permit me to stand on the existing protocol. <laughs> So I'd like to say that too, but then I need to actually appreciate everyone here. You know, I want to thank especially our chairperson, Lagos Chapter, because this is Lagos Chapter's 
your networking meeting, but she had allowed us, because after the national event, to be able to launch this tech hub. Because she also knows the importance of this to everyone, so not only for the youth, because all of us are all youth, so we are youth. I don't know what about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a youth, so not only I'm youth, youth, not only youth at heart, by all ramifications, <laughs> I am a youth. And then tech, tech hub, digitalization, it's not peace for everyone. If your business is not, it's not out there now. I don't know what it's like you are shocked. Changing yourself, like you are winking in the dark. Yeah. You know what you are doing, but how many other people know what you are doing? I pray for us, we will not work, we will not labor in vain. This is our season to try, and indeed we will try. And so, our protocols duly observed. On behalf of the Governing Council of Nectar's Network of Entrepreneurial Women, New, I welcome every one of us to this momentous occasion. I choose to call it momentous because it is an occasion that has greatly influenced the development of our goals towards a destination for not just us as an organization, but as an organization that is poised to empower Nigerian women from all walks of life to embrace entrepreneurship, and achieve total well-being while impacting others with the creation of this tech core, which we are about to open, launch presently. It is, no, it is a no-brainer that technology is an enabler. It goes without saying, it is an enabler, a vital leverage, and a great ally for any future-focused business, be it an SME or even a big firm, which we are all praying to become someday. If success is your goal, then technology is the way to go. You cannot shy from it any longer. We must be there and we are getting there. God help us. Now, a tech hub is one of the most high energy places in the world. And if you are, you are in one or lucky enough to have one, some of that energy will certainly rub off on you. A tech hub can be compared to a beehive. You know what that means? Everyone is there to work and everyone is in go mode and can do attitude. It is an environment that is designed and enabled to give its users lots of creative energy to work with. Tech Hub has been around for a while. Zeta late and never. Or we ought to have done this like a while ago, but we are doing it now, you know. It has been around for a while and has gained popularity in the last few years due to its ability to bring experts in different tech sectors together to innovate on the next big thing in the industry. So it makes sense that Neil would want to start our own, our own tech hub at this time, tapping into a focused vision that goes beyond creating entrepreneurial women only, but also creating or making smart entrepreneurial women in an environment that they can quickly test and also to innovate. It is no gain saying that many of the world's most significant and technological breakthroughs came about as a result of tech hub. And at the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, some people became billionaires, others became billionaires. You would agree with me. We all became overnight inventors because we need to create ourselves so that our, our business will thrive. Due to the pandemic, most of us businesses were on lockdown. But those businesses that were online, they were not on lockdown. A collaboration between talented people such as Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Way 
Mark Zuckerberg and his four friends in that one room in Harvard is one out of the many reasons. So some of us now could execute most tasks seamlessly because of the presence of the dumb room that became a tech hub in that dumb room. Now the presence of tech hub will still such a vital function in the space because they are designed to bring together like-minded people and to foster practical meaning, wider collaboration, as well as healthy competition. Hence, in contrast of our resolve in need to support technology development for our TV youth, and you know the TV youth are the future of this country across Nigeria, I now present to you new ten. Oh, thank you so much. A bigger round of applause for our president who has brought us that uh, It's not a small feat. But yesterday I was with the other and I was like, are we really launching our own set up? So for her to have given the ship to achieve this notable project, I still say a bigger round of applause for her too. Thank you, my husband. And my neighbor's feet, he said, as for our youth, I said, yes, youth is the silver lining. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. So, straight away, I'm going to be um, inviting someone to talk to us for the little preamble before that. When we had the privilege of being elected uh, by you, one of our seven point agenda was to strengthen and increase our alliances. And we've been working in the background. So, luckily, we have one of the giants in the entrepreneurship industry coming to partner with us. And that's what uh, I'm talking about. So we have in the house. Uh, a representative of the Enterprise Development Center, which is a unit of labor business school. I think you can do it. I don't know what the work is, but the labor business school is doing for excellence. And they have students who come from outside the school. So for the young to come now and want to pass on with us, that means we are not doing that here at all. So they have. Um, a lot of training program for youth, um, particularly between the 18 to 25. And I'm happy to see our movie uh, coordinator smiling and nodding our head. You know, uh, what is this program about? It's called the uh, Transforming Nigeria Youth Program. And it has a lot to do with technology, with uh, personal development. But the main focus on agriculture and uh, so, okay, I'm just going to introduce that the person is going to give us more information about it. But although a lot of us here are used in silver lining, but we are children in silver lining. Yes, as in the chapter. So, we have children, we have sisters and brothers, we have babies. People that are going to do well in life. And I, I really love this. This is a program to take children off, take off the streets. There is a lot of disability um, going on out there. And it is because they don't have direction. They, they want to do, they don't have what to do. But with this kind of program, they can be making legitimate 
they will both like and if you decide it, it will be better for you. So without wasting time, I'm the honor of inviting I used to be a student fellow as five years ago. I met out of five years ago and we was that this is the best of every years. And she has always been very helpful for us in that for you. She looks so young for and um, she's someone you see as small body and big brain children. The end of the idea is not sweet. So I have the pleasure of inviting my new mother. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for being here. Um, but, uh, so we would like to introduce you to the program and the president of the this program. Who wants to have a business? Who wants to However, if you have any business or if people have to learn in the other sector, please can sit down and such like that and talk about the program. Um, and this is okay, this program is brought to you in Lagos and Those of you who have the best. And um, the program is online, so um, it's free and low. So no payment whatsoever. Um, so a partner with any of you to bring this program to you. So um, the program is a three month program on online and all you have to do is there's a website that you go on to and you register and register your interest and pay on all you want to pass on. Take that for me, don't pay anything. Um, and training is not at all in the case of the convenience as well. And one of the benefits of the program is that we also work with um, actually we give them access to market. For those who are wanting to start their businesses, we actually give them a growth plan per se, whereby it's a mini business plan per se, where we invite them at the end of the day after their all their process. And so with that, we're able to give them a business development provider and attach them as a guider to help them to go to challenges of actually start their business. And we have a lot of um, intensive of those projects who are active on the program. So aside from the market access of the community, we also provide them free websites, visibility online, so they can be able to have a business for them, um, as well as um, access to information, information on how they can access the information for their business and how they can also grow their businesses. Um, and aside like that as well. For those who have not actually registered their business, we also provide that support to help them with that process. And also, this is also an incentive. Absolutely free. So, the main aim of why we're doing this is, of course, that unemployment is very high um, in this country. Um, so, we're trying to boost the promotion to be for them to actually have something for themselves and be more employable. So um and the, the registration link to apply is reg dot dot ng forward slash the transform. So the program is completely online. So it is reg dot dot ng forward slash be transformed. So the form is very short to fill as well. Um, and if you have any inquiries, you can also call for the number. I have some flyers here. So the information will also be passed along as well. So if you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer them as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Let's celebrate her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
So much, and here, and thank you again, Hakima. I think that program is very, very important. I believe the link is being tied online, so we can, we can have it. And especially the national coordinator of the Ruby Group, Mrs. Kumisha Sherika, is running with the vision for us because we know you are the are the leaders for tomorrow, and. Those have been saying that we have been saying this for a long time. Where are they taking over? And family people tell you that it is now. We want them to take over, and it's very, so very, very important for us. So you will hear more from her, Mrs. Um, um, Chelika, because they have their program between the age of three. Um, come on, come on, come on. Hey, say, come on. He said, I want that to come and tell us that she's going to be Thank you so much. Good afternoon, once again. Uh, oh, sorry, good morning. <laughs> I'm also standing on the English Oh, okay. <laughs> and really, uh, the program is so I've heard about this in last year, when they just started. And I'm glad to say a couple of our ladies have actually benefited from it. I had a chat in a room where she came in there, and I mentioned a few names. And those that couldn't get in the last step told me the assurance more like that they should go on ahead again and reapply that this time they will get them. Because I know a few of them came back. I helped a few to fill in their forms wherever they have the questions and the like. And hopefully our other chapters we look into how they can also benefit from this, from the other two states that you mentioned. At the last meeting, I was aware of it that it works in. We are already working on that, and let's see how it goes on. It's a very good opportunity because I'm also a BDC alumni, and I know with the youth now, with a whole lot of us are doing a lot in our space, but we need to get it right from the beginning so that we don't get halfway at the business form. So I know with this opportunity, so much more will be done. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Shelly. The next thing we want to do now is to unveil the experience center.
ladies and gentlemen, here and those that they uh, online and follow us in the spirit. This is coming to enjoy the experience of the tech hub. Development, any other accelerated uh, 
program that still has the ability of now of to buy the wide network broadband access